Welcome back to Simple Interest. We are now on Simple Interest Workbook Video 7. At the conclusion of Video 6, you created a worksheet that now looks like this. We've calculated the interest based on information provided to you in applying the simple interest formula I equals PRT. And then additionally, you calculate the maturity value where we took the principal plus the interest to get the total amount that needs to be repaid. In video seven, we are going to continue applying the simple interest formula I equals PRT, but in this case, we are going to now solve for some other missing variables. So we're going to solve for principal when given the interest rate and time. And then we'll solve for the rate when given the other factors. And also we'll solve for time when given I, P, and R by applying that formula. So the first step is to go ahead and create a new worksheet. Go ahead and click that plus new sheet button. And then you're going to name it Simple Interest P3, Simple Interest Part 3. Now on this new worksheet, you'll want to go ahead and have the same information here so you have it for a handy reference. And the way you can do that is to go back to Simple Interest Part 2 and then just simply copy that information. Select it, right click, copy, and then bring it over and paste that information right there, starting in cell A1. So that's a quick way to do that. So we'll have that information available to us. We'll talk about this here in just a minute. Go ahead and start by putting in your columns. These, I believe, are a column width of 20. And go ahead and number from 1 to 20. Enter in these numbers that are provided for interest, principal, rate, and time. And then go ahead and key in these units here of days that'll become clearer as to why we're doing that in the next video and also months down here. Column B formatted and accounting format dollars. Principal formatted in dollars. Format your column D as a percentage with at least one decimal place. And then time is just general number. Number. At this point, pause the video and complete your table. Let's take a look at how we can rearrange the relationship of the simple interest formula. But just before we do that, let's talk about a text box. This is different than a comment. Text box is a box that we can move throughout our worksheet. We can format the text within that in any fashion that we choose. We can resize that box. We can change the background. I can right click, format that shape. Put in a little solid fill here, a little gray shading behind it. I can format the lines. There we go, a little blue line on there. On the main menu, select the Insert tab, Text Box, and then that allows you to draw the size of the box you want to begin with. Grab the border and you can move it. Grab these handles, you can change the size. Within the text box, you can change your alignment. You can put everything in the center. So what we're doing with this is now we can add to our notes so that we can take a look and have an easy reference for rearranging the simple interest formula. Here's the basic formula, I equals PRT, but then we can solve for other variables. For example, if we want to isolate the principal, then we can 
divide by R and T and isolate P, which would then give us P equals I divided by RT. Do the same thing for R. R equals I divided by PT and time equals I divided by PR. So what you could do is just go ahead and type those relationships. And I think I'll make that a larger font here since I have a nice big text box. Interest equals P times R times T. P would then equal I divided by I divided by RT. R is equal to I divided by PT. And if we need to solve for just time, it would be time equals I divided by PR. Format that text box how you like. Make it the size that you like. Place it in the location. Have me come by and take a look. Check you off. And we will be ready to start doing some solving of unknown variables within the simple interest formula.